Hey, welcome back to the Fitspire channel. So if you remember, about a couple months ago, um, I did a video showing basically the survival kit in a water bottle. And many people, many of you uh, left comments on how it can make it better. And so we did exactly that. And so we have our second version. So it's going to be the exact same size of bottle, but it's in, it's going to be in this uh, carrying case. And so we're going to go ahead we're going to open this up and I'll show you what all we have inside. And maybe you'll recognize some of the things that you commented on. So first of all, uh, one of the things that a lot of people asked in my previous video was, what's the purpose of it? Um, how are you supposed to use it, all this? And basically, the, the, the idea of this is it's something that I can easily add. Okay, because you see the size, it's not very large. Um, I can easily add this to my backpack with this carrying case. I can, I can attach it to the molly straps, um, or you can just toss it into your backpack. And what it is, is just a, a backup plan. Uh, let's say you're going on a hike and you don't expect to uh, run into any trouble, but you don't want to carry an entire backpack full of survival gear. That's what this is for. When you're out and about, uh, you're going, okay, I'm not saying EDC, this is not something I'd, I carry with me every day. This is something I toss into my backpack if I'm going for a hike, uh, somewhere far out there, um, where in case something does happen, then I have a certain amount, a small amount of survival gear. All right, so that's the main idea of this. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'll show you what we got inside. All right, so one of the things a lot of people mentioned that I should add is a bandana. And so with this carrying case, it easily fits into this top sec section there. And so I chose this bright orange bandana and it's got a bunch of survival uh, tips on it, like different tracks, how to tie knots and what to expect uh, from poisonous snakes. And so it's got a lot of cool information. Uh, it's great for like, if you're bored, reading over it and stuff. And also, like with the, the knots and different things, it's, it comes in handy. And of course, also you have a lot of different uses. Um, there's probably 101 probably uses for the bandana. If it's for filtering water uh, before you begin filtering with like your water filter. Uh, using it. Anyways, there's all kinds of ways to use the bandana. And so we added that to the kit. All right, the next thing we did right here, as you can see, on the outside of the bottle, I added a bunch of aluminum foil. Now this can be used for a lot of different uses. Uh, it can be used for making like temporary little like uh, cups or plates. Um, you can use it for heating up food. Uh, anyways, there's again, there's so many different uses you can use the aluminum foil for. All right, so I'm gonna move this stuff over here. All right, and then the next big upgrade that a lot of a lot of you mentioned in the comments was actually having a single walled metal uh, bottle. And now the reason for that is you can actually boil water in this. Now, if it's um, got the double walls, the insulated, then you can't use it for boiling water. You'll burn your metal before you boil the water because that uh, that space between the metal. But this is a single wall, and so you can you can boil water in this. And this is the exact same size. So they're both 32 ounces. So the exact same size. And I think it's a bit harder um, with it being not being transparent. It's harder to pack it. With this first version, being transparent, I can see why I have like an empty space. It's easy to shove gear down inside of there. All right, so what the plan is, is if something happens, I do need to use this. What I do is I'll take everything out of here and I put it into this carrying bag. All right, and so a lot of people also ask in the comments, so what do you do when you need, uh, you need the bottle, right? Because that's one of your first things if you run into a survival situation, you need water. And so what you do is you pull all this out and you put it into the case and you'd carry your bottle separately and it'd be empty until you fill it with water. So anyways, I'm not going to be putting it into the case since I'm going to be showing you what's inside the contents. At the very top, I have two cinnamon candies. Something brought up just for like morale booster, all that. All right, then I have, these I've demonstrated several times actually. These are compacted towels. They're like a tablet kind of shape. And so I have some dirty water here that I'm going to be filtering later. Just kind of dip it in there, get it wet. This can be used as a wet wipe. Uh, if you get it really wet, you can use it for like washing up. Or if you keep it kind of dry, uh, it can be used like toilet paper. And it's really nice because they're nice and compact size. And once you get them wet, you can... Also, they can be taken apart uh, when they're dry. You can pull them open for being so that they'd stay completely dry. So anyways, I really like those. I carry them in a lot of my, my packs. All right, then the next thing we have is we have some water purification tablets, something that was also highly recommended because this is actually, it's germicidal. And so 
uh, the filter does not always is not always a, always able to uh, purify out all the uh, viruses and germs or whatever else, but this does. Um, and it has some instructions in the back there for how to use that. You're supposed to add two tablets of water, oh, two tablets into your water. And anyways, if you've not used it before, be sure be sure to check out the instructions on the back there. So anyways, water purification tablets. All right, and the next thing we have, I have some sugar, some salt, and some bouillon cubes. All right, so some salt there, some sugar, and these are just some bouillon cubes. And so you can make yourself a hot broth. Um, again, morale booster, get some, some nutrients in you. All right, and something else on my previous uh, kit that a lot of people commented on was the flashlight. I had a, a wind-up flashlight. So this flashlight, it actually, I've reviewed this before. If you haven't seen that, be sure to go back and check uh, out that review. But this flashlight has both a built-in lithium battery and it also has a, a uh, AA battery. And so the advantage of that is you can easily charge it up with type C, but then if you're out in the wild and you, you don't have, a, of course, the opportunity to charge this up, then what you could do is you would have the AA battery in the back. Right here. All right, so it takes a AA and then you can easily switch, uh, switch between the two uh, battery options. And I do have a spare AA battery in here. We'll be getting to that a bit later. And so just in case this does, uh, the battery does die on this and the lithium battery goes dead on it, then we have the spare AA in here. And then this is wound seal. This, uh, we have like a, a deep cut. This will actually like carterize the wound. A small compass. So if you know how to use a compass, it can help you get, uh, navigate and find your way. All right, next thing, we have a, a cappuccino drink. It's a coffee drink. Again, just something you can add uh, if you boil water, uh, you filtered it, you boiled it, and then you can add some coffee to it. Again, just, just a bit of a morale booster, kind of help you uh, start to feel better having some sugar in you. All right, then we have matches. And these are waterproof matches. And so this is actually just one of, one of our uh, first options for starting a fire. I actually have a couple of redundant options here. Right, what we're going to demonstrate here is that they are waterproof. And so if we again take our dirty water here, and I soak the match in there. Right, you see it's kind of wet. Just got to wipe it off. And it should strike without any difficulty. All right, so that works. All right, so matches. And then what we have here, this is a, um, it's a solid fuel tablet. You might be familiar with like an Esbit. Um, they do fuel tablets also. I'm not too fond of the Esbit because it smells like fish oil, in my opinion. So I'm not too fond of that. And I've demonstrated this before, but I'll go ahead and I'll demonstrate it again. Of course, this uh, little fire kit here does not fit into the bottle. I'm just using it so I don't burn my table. All right, and actually I'll light that just in a bit once we get down a little bit lower. All right, and then what we have here, these are survival tabs. And so this is um, to help you with your nutrients. Um, it does, it's not a high calorie, um, but it's high in a bunch of vitamins. So this is what's from the survival tab. So this particular one is um, it's butterscotch flavor. And they, I think they taste like, like dry milk. Um, so anyways, you'll notice it's not high in calories, but it has a bunch of your vitamins here. A, your C. You'll notice a bunch of these go down the other, 100%. All right. So it's going to help you with nutrients. And oh, actually, I carry these in my EDC pack too. And if I ever feel like hypoglycemic, like I, I feel like I need to eat, I'll take one of these tabs and it actually does a lot. Uh, it helps me out quite a bit. All right. And then some more serious food. I have a survival ration here. All right, so SOS ration, okay, not, not survival ration. All right, and now this is where you're gonna find a lot of your calories. And so what you do is, if you do get into a survival situation um, and you don't have like, you need some food, basically this is gonna make you feel a bit more full. Um, well, let's see, you can't find it in here somewhere. Anyways, it's high, uh, got a lot of calories in it, just to make you, okay, here it is. So each packet contains 3,600 calories. All right, so I'm not sure if that's entire, I think, I think it's the entire packet. 
right, then it has like nine in it or something. So like 400 calories just in this one little bar here. I'll open it up and kind of show it to you. It tastes, in my opinion, like, like honey. Uh, it's kind of like a hard wafer with like a honey flavor. And which is kind of unfortunate on YouTube. You can't really, you know, let the people taste it. <laughs> All right, so you can kind of see it. It looks like really like like oily-ish looking, but it doesn't taste oily. It tastes more like honey, um, but it's really, it's a really dense, like, I don't know what we call it, it's a cookie or a cracker, <laughs> something like that. I'll set it on the side because it's really crumbly. But anyways, that is our SOS ration. All right, then what we have here is a small little tea candle. And this way, basically, you can start a fire and kind of keep it going for a bit. And of course, it has some natural uses of the tea candle. Also, something that was advised to add to the kit was a tea candle. All right, the next thing we have here is a small little sewing kit. And again, it can come in handy whenever you, in a survival situation, you may need to like stitch something up. And something I noticed, and I'll show you, I have in all my packs and all my gear, I always carry uh, the Titan Survivor Cord. And the reason why is because it has a whole bunch of other cords inside of it. So let's see, let me find the edge here. There it is. All right, so on the inside, you will find it has like a fishing wire. It also has like a, a brass wire for like snares. All right, so the one, so you have, of course, the, the several strands. That's what all paracord has, the 550 cord. Um, but then also you'll find it has a brass, little brass wire in here. And something really cool I recently found out that actually you can pull that out of the uh, out of your survivor cord and you actually use it for stitching. So what you do is you just run that through your your sewing needle. Oops, I pulled it right back out. And actually you could sew with the brass wire. And so if you want it, if you needed to do uh, some kind of repairs to something um, and you need it to be stronger than like just thread, then actually you can sew with this brass. And so that's kind of cool, I thought. So anyways, a little small little sewing kit. So while I have this open, I'll show you the rest of it. Um, so the red cable actually is nothing special. It's just one of the colored ones. But it does have, like I said, a fishing, a little uh, fishing wire there. And it also has this right here. It's tinder. And so this is also waterproof. And it feels like really waxy. So what you do is you pull this apart. Just kind of like fluff it up a bit. And it easily catches a fire. All right. Speaking of fire, something else that a lot of people brought up was that you need to have an actual lighter. And so I used, this is the, the mini Bic, and I chose to add a, a metal case for it. Just to make sure it's not accidentally leaking all the gas out because if you're in a survival situation, you pull out your lighter and it's empty, then you know, that's, that's pretty pathetic. So anyways, the so metal case is also from Bic. And what you'll notice here is I used this advantage to take some Gorilla Tape, some really tough uh, tape, and so I wrapped quite a bit around the lighter case. All right, just like that. So we're gonna go ahead and demonstrate this, in case you haven't seen this before. All right, so it's gonna slowly Go ahead and catch, catch fire. I'll move this over to the side. All right, and that burns for, it burns for about 10 minutes or so, if I remember correctly. And so you could use it to maybe uh, boil maybe one, if you like just a cup of water in this, uh, in the bottle. It'd probably boil uh, about maybe just a cup. So if not, of course not full, uh, but also what's great for is if you're starting a fire, that actually you can use that um, as some tinder to get it going. Get it, yeah, get the fire going. All right, move on. So next thing I have here, uh, this actually is just a little pill box that I've made from an old container I had. So we have some painkillers. You'll see some Pepto-Bismol there in the background. But also I've taken the back of this and I've uh, polished it up. And so to use that kind of like a signaling mirror, and so, so I get a reflect. All right, so you see just like that. 
And so um, a dedicated signaling mirror would be better. But this actually will work and actually does a pretty good job just by polishing up the back of that. All right, so we got some painkillers there. All right, and you can also see um, I've lined the bag with a Ziploc baggie. So this is just kind of help protect the bag, keep it clean, but also it makes it easier once we get down towards the bottom. It makes it a lot easier to um, to get the small items out. You don't have to try to like shake it out or fish in there with your fingers like I'm doing right now. Yeah, just gonna keep this upside down. All right, let's work. So I do have a Victorinox Huntsman in here. And I like this because it has the saw. The Victorinox saw is actually a really amazing tool. A really sharp um, saw. It has a really nice scissors on it. Then of course it has the small blade, large blade, can bottle opener. Uh, on the back here we have some more tender. This is the Helix Tender from Tortoise Gear. If you've not seen this, be sure to go back. I'll have a link right here. And you can see how that works. But it's also waterproof tender. And this is also from Tortoise Gear. This is their Firefly. And so this is just a ferro rod. So what you do is you would basically, um, I'd recommend using the, the back of the saw. It's kind of like the, uh, the square side. And what you do is you strike down it and it tosses the, the sparks from starting a fire. And once again, be sure to go back and watch that video uh, if you haven't seen that demonstrated before. All right, so we actually have also a second uh, blade that I added. Because even though the, the Swiss Army knife is a really good blade, a really good knife, um, I wanted something a bit larger, something with a fixed blade. And so I added this True Utility um, knife. And I like what I like about it is that it has replaceable blades. And so what I've done, and really you can't even tell, but I've slid the replaceable blades into the back of it. All right, so I'll pull that out. And so there are the, are the two replaceable blades. And right now it has a saw blade on it. And so once this is open, you'll see this big red button here. And on the back it shows you locked and unlocked. So if you slide it to unlock, you push right here where it says push. And then this comes right off. And you can trade it out for an ordinary knife blade. And once you push, you lock that. And you notice you can't, if you push, it doesn't come off anymore. And so the advantage of this is uh, if you do abuse the blade, um, if it gets really dull, what you do is basically you just you pop it off, toss it, and you have a replacement. So you have two blades in it. And then once again, having the, the saw blade also is a, another, it's kind of like just a backup plan. Um, again, it's advan the advantage of it is being um, fixed blade. And so you don't have to worry about it snapping closed on you. All right, so just like that. And then, like I said, it's fixed blade. And that way you have a spare, a spare saw. So you've been seeing that true utility knife. It's pretty cool. I like how it has the replaceable blades on it. All right, the next thing here, we have some, this, this is soap. And so if you're out, you get your hands dirty. Um, even out in the wild, you need to make sure you keep your hands clean. And so this is soap. What you do is you get your hands wet, you rub that in, and it's just like ordinary hand soap. Now somebody told me that this actually will burn also. And so, sure enough, look. So that also works as tinder. So that's something interesting. So keep in mind, if you need some emergency tinder, what you do is you take your little soap and it catches fire easily. Really cool. I literally just tried that for the first time. All right. Next we have in here is some small band-aids. Um, I have some single antibiotic ointment. All right, so single antibiotic, some band-aids, and I have some Benadryl and some allergy medicine. Now, typically, if I'm out in the wild, if I'm out camping, if I'm out hiking, I usually have a dedicated um, like metal, medical kit, too. And so this is kind of slim. This is just the bare minimum. you got some Band-Aids, uh, some painkiller over here, and I have a larger Band-Aid, and I also have some Steri strips. so large Band-Aid. And the Steri strips are back here. Now, if you've never seen Steri strips before, uh, be sure to go back and see my trauma kit video. I actually demonstrate all of my medical stuff. This is basically, it's kind of like tape. Uh, if you've never used it before, it replaces stitches. And so what you do, if you have a deep cut that needs to be stitched shut, what you do is it's like, like a really sticky tape kind of thing, but it's really slim though. And you hook it on one side and you pull it, 
pull the wound shut and you attach the other side. It's kind of like replacing stitches and you put a bandaid on top of it. So anyways, stereo strips. Some like that are easy to add because they don't take up much space. Uh, it's kind of rough to pack it sometimes into the, the bottle. But again, this is not a kit that you're gonna be using every day. It's not an EDC. Uh, so the fact that it's not easily accessible is really irre irrelevant. Or they have a water filter from Sawyer. And I've demonstrated these a couple times. Um, they're really great, they're really great filters. You go ahead and I'll get back to this in just a bit. We finish uh, what's remaining in our bottle here. So at this point, what I can do is just take the Ziploc baggie and almost, not quite. A couple more things in here in the way. All right, so we have a fishing kit. So you have some grubs here and some hooks, some weights. And so you can take this and if you're anywhere near the water, you can try to catch some fish. All right, then I have some tea, some black tea. And again, this is just for making yourself a hot drink, uh, give yourself a morale boost. Speaking of a boost, this is goo gel. It's actually energy gel. And this stuff is fantastic. It's got some caffeine in it. It's got some amino acids, some sodium. And so like also when I go hiking or if I'm in the gym and I feel like I'm hitting the low and I need, I need a boost, this stuff works great. And so if you haven't tried this before, be sure to try it. They have some great flavors. Um, it's just, it's called just that goo gel. And so you open it up and it's, it's a gel and, uh, it does really good for giving you your energy back. All right, this came flying out too. This is a splinter out. What it is, is just a little metal, a little metal piece here. I'll go ahead and open it up and show it to you. And it's got a sharp tip and these are good for, if you get a splinter, for picking out the splinter. So really great there. Toss this right here. All right, then something else that was also recommended by several people was to add in uh, coffee filters. Now these are paper filters. And so the purpose for this is actually for um, the, the Sawyer filter, or for any water filter for that matter. If you have really dirty water, like I have here in this cup that we're going to be filtering. So you see I got some floaties and some stuff in there. And so if you, if you filter that sh directly, it's gonna make your filter dirty and clogged up really quick. And it does come with like a syringe that you're supposed to backwash to get all that large stuff out. But there's no space for a syringe. Um, and so what we're gonna use this for is we're gonna pre-filter the water to get rid of all the large things. And then we'll use the Sawyer filter to filter out all the smaller um, particles in it. And so again, we'll get to this in just a bit. Let's over here together. I have a small pencil. A small toothbrush, and it has the toothpaste built in. To it right there. And so again, it's just something that kind of helps you boost your morale. If you're feeling yucky, if you feel like you have a bad breath, you know, you know, it's still it's gonna it's gonna affect your 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 morale. I'm gonna move this to the side and run out of space, and it's almost burned out. Okay. And something is kind of there sideways, does not want to let me open it up. Alright, so the next thing this is a ferro rod. And so what you do is you have this little striker, and you run this down this, move this out of the way. All right, so just like that, I'm not gonna do that anymore, it's burn my table. But the next thing that's nice about it is that it has a built-in whistle here in the back. So if you're out, you're lost, you wanna be found, basically, you'd use the whistle on that. So it's, it's two in one, which is always great when you're uh, tight on space. All right, now we got it out. The last two items in here had the spare battery, spare AA battery, this is for the the flashlight, in case that battery goes dead, that's a spare. And then the Ziploc bag you actually can also be used uh, for foraging, for carrying water. Um, and so lots of uses actually you can get out of the, the plastic bag there, Ziploc bag. Then we have these sliver grippers. And again, this is like getting out like um, splinters or whatever else. It's basically a really tough pair of tweezers. And they take hardly no space. It's just like that. All right. So now our, our bottle is empty, but that's actually not the end of our kit because with, with this bag, you have this front pocket. And so I was able to move a lot of the items that would not fit in here into this front pocket here. All right, so I have a wet wipe. 
Then we have a Fresnel lens. That. Basically, it's a, it's a flat magnifying glass is basically what it is. And this actually can also be used as an option to start a fire. Of course, that's if you have sunlight. No sunlight, no fire. <laughs> Not with the Fresnel lens, at least. All right, and then in here we have our Sawyer bag. So I'm going to go ahead, and now we have all the parts for our filter out. So what this does, and with the cap on it, you also, actually you can also carry water in here. Um, so you go down, find a stream, you'd fill up with water, you put a cap on it, and basically you'd be able to carry water that way. So what we do is, I'm gonna try to do something, make it a big mess, and this is actually one where we're gonna have the tin foil come in handy. Set our bag right here for now. Oops. All right, so what we're gonna do, so I'm just gonna take this and uh, let's just rip it in half. All right, so I'm just gonna use half of this tin foil and just kind of roll it around and make a funnel. All right, so literally just like that. So it's kind of like an ice cream cone kind of shape funnel there. You want to take our coffee filter, this paper filter, this up, slide it in there. And then in theory, what we can do is stick the bottom of this into our filter bag. This is going to be exciting to try to do with the camera right in front of me. And then we're going to take our dirty water here. And we'll pour it in there. And so the paper filter is going to stop um, stop all the large particles from going through. And so we included two of the paper filters. Basically, once you use it, you get to toss it. And right, once it's wet, it's going to easily rip. I imagine you could probably dry it out. But it doesn't take much space. That's an advantage of it. It doesn't take hardly any space. We're able to add two of them. All right, so you can easily see all the large items were trapped. So this is going to be basically our first layer of filtration. Uh, we're going to get rid of all the, the large particles. I would toss this to the side. All right, then after that, what you could do is put the solder filter on top of it. And I'm going to filter into this clear cup just so you can also you can see the water comes out nice and clean. And so you just squeeze the bag, you roll it as you go. And as long as your filter is clean, uh, it's actually, it doesn't take much uh, to squeeze and run all the water through the filter. All right, this to the side. And just like that, we have a clean glass of water. And then, so that's our second layer of filter, of filtering. Then we also have these water, water purification tabs. And so what you would do is, use this to pull this out. Get all that on the top. So what you do is you take some of these water purification tabs. And the instructions call for two. You toss them in there and you let them dissolve. Um, Let them dissolve for like 15 minutes or so. Anyways, on the back has all the instructions for that. How long it's supposed to sit, it's supposed to wait. And then on top of that, what you could do is you could even boil the water. And so literally it'd be like a four layer filtration. You have the paper filter, then you have the Sawyer filter, then you have the purification tabs and boiling it. I'm sure you're good to go, no diarrhea. <laughs> so anyways, let's continue. Still a couple more things here in our pack. All right, what we have next, what we have next here is a poncho, emergency poncho. And now this is kind of like the Mylar blankets. This is also something that was recommended. So here's what I have open. And so you have the reflective side here, uh, which you, of course you put towards you to keep yourself warm. And then it's kind of, it's actually pretty, pretty sturdy. And it's not, I don't know, it's got like a plastic, I guess, covering on it. And so it's not like tin foil. It's not like gonna easily rip just like that. So you can see how it stretches. 
anyways, um, it's I found these to be kind of like knee length, so not like to the ground. And so, like you see in the pictures, about how it is, uh, so it's about maybe just below your waist. Um, but anyways, a poncho. It's right here. And then we still do have space. I have the Mylar blanket. And so if you're also, you're setting up a camp for yourself, uh, you could actually do both. And so you'd have the, the blanket, um, you could do below you, above you, uh, and stuff like that. Or if you want it like shade in the, in the summer, um, the sunlight, you can also set this up to get some shade. Got my Mylar blanket in there. And something else that a couple of people mentioned is actually adding a, a paper list of everything in the pack. And so this is readily accessible without, without pulling it all open. You can unzip the front pocket, you pull up the paper, and basically you can see everything you have inside of it. And so that actually comes in handy. And again, that was something that was advised by a couple of people on the first video. All right, then we have a wire saw. And so this is actually our third saw option. So we have the, the Swiss Army knife, then we have the true utility blade. And this also, it's a wire saw. And so I've demonstrated this before, so I won't do it again. If you haven't seen that, be sure to go back and watch my first video with the, um, the water bottle. And actually this works really well uh, for cutting like larger branches and stuff. And so it literally is just a, a wire. And so what you do is you grab a hold with the handles, which these handles are a lot more convenient than and comfortable than the metal ones. Grab a hold of that, or if you want, you could actually break off a stick, and make like a handle like this. I'll use this for example. What you do is you break off a stick, you would hold onto the stick like this, that way you're not having to put your fingers through this wire and you're having to like tug it on your finger. So anyways, that also just makes it a bit more convenient. And this doesn't take hardly any space either. And so I don't mind having the, the redundancy of the saw. All right, and the last thing we have in the pack is a, a non-adherent pad. And again, this is just, just for medical, for cutting up a wound. And that is everything in the pack. So after that, it's empty. And you could also add like emergency phone numbers and stuff like that. I don't want to have that in my video. So I don't have any emergency phone numbers in there. That's also something that would be great to have in the video. All right. So that is all for this uh, survival kit in a water bottle. So let me know what you think. Let me, think. let me know what you think about having it in the metal container. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.